Dell, and today I want to show you a new project I made here in the Barrage Garage. It's a static electricity generator in a Leiden jar. It's pretty easy to make, and it doesn't cost very much either. Let me show you how it works. Okay, this is it. This is my uh, frictional generator. It's, uh, it's sometimes called a modified Ramsden machine, and it's uh, named after the fellow who invented it. I assume his name is Ramsden. Anyway, it, it's made out of PVC pipe, PVC uprights, this uh, three inch PVC tube here, and it's connected to a crank. As I turn the crank, it brushes up against this copper conductor and I've got little uh, brass screws and little aluminum foil combs in here and I'll show you what they're for in a minute. Um, it's on a wooden base and I've just put a couple 10 pound weights in there to keep it nice and steady as I turn the crank. Okay, what I'm going to do now is place my hand on the top of the PVC tube and turn this. And as I turn it, I'm building up a charge. Charge is coming from my hand, my body, and is collecting on this PVC uh, tube. But the charge isn't staying there. It's getting picked up on the copper conductor. And it's the whole copper conductor now is energized. You probably can't see this very well in this, in this video, but I'm putting some some uh, paper on there and the paper is sticking to the uh, to the copper electrode because uh, the electrode is all charged up with electricity and it's attracting the paper. But we can do a lot more with it than just attract some pa bits of paper and uh, I want to show you that now. Okay, this device here is called a Leiden jar. And what it is, it's a primitive form of uh, an electronic capacitor. Basically, it's a piece of plastic. And what I've done is, if you look at the top, it's just a bit of plastic, and I've coated the inside with aluminum foil. Actually, I used a uh, sticky aluminum tape, and I put the same amount of aluminum tape on the outside. So I've got a piece of aluminum separated by an insulating piece of plastic, uh, and there's another piece of aluminum on the inside. Then I take this uh, electrode, and the copper just puts the electrode in contact with the inside uh, uh, aluminum foil. And what will happen is, is that I can, this will catch electricity, catch static electricity and get all charged up. So, let's see what happens. Okay, let's charge this thing up. Now, there's so much charge in there that it's going to hurt if I use my finger. So I'm going to use this instead. This is a Leiden jar discharger. And I just touch the top and the bottom. And I, th I don't know if you could see that, but that was quite a large spark. Let me zoom in and maybe you can get a better look. Okay, let's get a good look at that spark. First of all, I'm really going to charge it up. So I'm going to press down kind of hard and turn this, turn it, turn it, turn it, make sure that this is in good close proximity to the electrifying uh, copper rod. Okay, that should do it. I'm going to turn off the lights and take a look. Did you see that spark? That was pretty good. Okay, so that's my Leiden jar, and that's my frictional static electricity generator. Um, there's an article coming out in Make Magazine, uh, Make Issue Number 20, that'll have these plans detailed. Thanks a lot. If you have any uh, comments, feel free to, uh, you know, let me know. Bye-bye.